Hello everyone, my name is Fellowblitz here and welcome back to Fairy in a Jar. I'm feeling a lot peppier today in comparison to yesterday, which was when I recorded the first episode of my Let's Play of this game. And now we can get into this with the full force of me. <laughs> but this is very interesting. Day 5 and health tired. So, we haven't been through 5 days, but it's 5 days within the game. And now we are still within the jar. Now let's go and talk to the giant. Hello, and here comes the big man himself. Here he is. Ah, he really comes. You are not hiding today. I guess you can understand my words. Sorry, but it seems that I can't hear what you're saying. I knew it. Hmm. What's going on? Is this today's food? Bobby looks like it. Wheat. Phew. Wheat is the best. He... He started staring at me again. Did I do something wrong? Um... Ask where you are, but how can I make him understand? Hmm, not beg him to release me, he's not going to... Hmm, you've got something to say? You want to know where we are? Great, we can communicate like this. This is a university building for the School of Archaeology. Though the professors are all out on research, nobody will come here except me. Oh dear, unit professor? And he said nobody would come here? Now it's my turn. Did you have any family? Family? He means other fairies. Though I think I had memory loss. Ah, oh, poor fairy. Is that so? Now he's going away. Really are tiny in a big universe. He suddenly leaves. It's like to an ant, we're giants, and to us, trees are giants. Does he grow tired of me? Wait, why should I care about that? Hmm. So we're still tired, I would imagine. Let's keep on going. It's time to go back. Let's do as much as we can in each day. Whew! No use of, no use for information today either. I was gonna say useless. Let's look aboard. Six. Again, isn't it odd? Have I always slept this much? I just feel more and more sleepy. Can't go outside. I say, there's nothing optional that you can do that's not shown within the game. Like, if an arrow's not pointing in a particular area, but you can investigate it anyways. I better go to bed. I think each of these choices contributes towards the ending. Of it. What in the blank to you? What? I'm looking forward to your final answer. Don't understand still about the perspective of who... Ooh, we're around a tree. A dream again. And I'm... Seening? Thank you for listening.
Dinner is about to start. Please go ahead to make preparations first. Dinner? What's that? They're all gone. What's happening? And it seems that I knew them. This is a place where fairies lived, as Mr. Knight said. Okay. So there's like a subconscious level to this. Some fairies are talking inside. Dinner and fairy villagers. Somehow I feel like I shouldn't be here. Aw, never say that. Is it wheat? Um, what's the matter? Well, have you seen Apple? Apple? He wasn't with you? We agreed to meet in the square before the dinner, but he never showed up. Maybe he mistook the meeting place. I asked around the village, but nobody saw him today. He might have disappeared before these villagers disappeared. Shall we go and ask Apple's father? Maybe he's already at the party, sorry. Why wouldn't he wait for us? I don't know. I really don't know. Well, a while ago, did you? Did I what? There will be a text hangs off the screen. The second calling bell. Let's go inside. Hurry. Huh? Yeah, sure. Was we trying to say something? Hmm. Caught mid-sentence. We're back in the jar. Again, we're here. Hmm. I think Mr. Giant is in a pretty good mood today. You've been here for a while, haven't you? Don't you want to know why I brought you? Brought? I was brought? Like purchased or just transported here? Hmm. It's a long story. Ugh. I was a small child. Not small like this fairy, though. My parents dragged me to our hometown in the countryside during the summer holiday. As a city boy, plus I was quite shy, I grew tired of the country house and kept asking to go back home. Of course I was scolded by the adults. Feeling angry and wronged, I ran into the forest and got lost. Watching the sun going down, I believed I was going to die and rot in the mountains. I heard an incredible song. Actually, it wasn't precisely a song. Because no human can produce such a voice, it was more like an orchestra of all of the beautiful melodies in something. Like the sounds of streams, raindrops, and butterflies fluttering their wings. The ordinary sounds were so harmonious that they sounded like music to me. Which calmed me down in no time. Then, a little ball of light appeared in front of me. Following the light, I soon found my way home. In this village... It was believed that fairies lived in that forest since long ago. Later, my elderly relatives told me so. However, most of the people thought it was nothing but an illusion out of my extreme fear. 
It's a relief to see you. Your existence proved that I wasn't out of my mind. Hmm. That's why you imprisoned me here? Hmm. To prove you were not crazy? It's so scary. No, I don't think so. Because giants hate trouble. And giants love money. Don't they? Keeping me will, co keeping me will cost him a lot, won't it? Well, I should go back to work now. Um, yeah, giving you a few grains of wheat every day. I don't think that is at all that expensive. Hmm. A lot of mysteries here. And I love mysteries. I love stuff that don't have a concrete answer, but it's just there in the air for you to find out. Whew, we talked a lot today. Right. We can't go back there. That's fine. Um, we'll talk to the same one, Arthur. Talk to the wizard. Hey, little fairy. I've got good news for you. Huh? Good news? Yes, you can leave this jar in no time. Really? Sure, I remembered. That old guy on the other side told me before. To humans, fairy blood can cause paralysis of their limbs. As long as you inject your blood into his body when he opens the jar, you can easily defeat him. When he opens the jar? Does, say, does he mean when he brings me food? But should I really do this? What's the matter? You keep saying that you need to escape, don't you? Will Mr. Giant be fine if I attack him? No. Huh? Of course he'll be fine. You'll be free the moment you use your blood on him. Why are you hesitating? Humans are arrogant creatures. You know what? That's that's not that's not false at all. <laughs> and to you, and to the you are nothing but pet. So, and to them, you are nothing but a pet. He brought you at a high price. It's impossible for him to set you free. What should I do? Hmm. What? Still hesitating. He is merely a human, though he may be big. I'm sorry, Mr. Wizard. But I think there must be another way to escape. Do you think so? How do you do, my lord? Little fairy, it seems that you are getting on well with that human. Really? I guess I'm just used to him now. Then pray for yourself. Wish that he won't grow tired of you too soon. Tired? Does that mean... Hey, what's that face you're putting on? A Viking would never bow before a giant. <laughs> I see. I didn't say anything. Thank you for chatting with me today. Sure, see you tomorrow, little fairy. Now the knight himself. Hello, Mr. Knight. Hello, my child. You look refreshed today. But really? Do you have any questions today? Are there more fantastic creatures? How can fairies live? About fairies singing? Yes, for humans, there are... Charming creatures as well as frightening ones in this world. They all have their own special abilities, like how you can hear us talking. 
How long can fairies live? Fairy bodies are different from humans who grow and wither following nature's rules. A fairy's health depends on their living environment. They can even live more than a thousand years in a suitable environment. About fairy singing. Fairies have both delicate bodies and sensitive emotions. Singing is their most important way of expressing themselves. Or to express themselves. The songs that contain magic powers that can even cure wounds. Though a healing voice is actually a very rare amongst fairies. No more questions. Thank you so much for listening to me all the time. You're welcome, my child. <laughs> the fairy is a child in this case. Good health. I think that's the key to the ending of this, is to maintain a good health. It's time to go back. Hmm. It's always so dark in there. Um, no, not at this point in time. Let's go and check everything else. A stamp with a giant printed on it. Hmm. Oh, wait, how many days? Wait, 25? 26? Keeps skipping stuff, doesn't it? The food Mr. Giant gave me, there is even something sweet fruit. There is even, there is even some sweet fruit. My bad. A bottle cap. There's delicious water inside. Yay, we've checked everything. Now we can go to bed knowing that we've done stuff. Going to bed? Yes, please. Let's rest up for the day and see what we can do for the tomorrow. I promised you my more weight today. You have so much confidence. Oh, you have so much confidence? Co question mark. Well then. Do you want to have a bet with me? I don't like the idea of gambling. Psychological gambling. Shipwreck? No dream this time. Huh? Is it morning already? I really don't want to get up today. The handkerchief is used for my bedding. Check again. A stamp. The human printed on must have been grey. I better not stare at it. Aww. And the scratch marks. What the? Um, 45 days. Has it been so long? Don't get angry. I have no appetite. It was a cap from a soda bottle. Now it's for my drinking for my drinking water. <coughs> Excuse me. Going out? Yes. Hmm. Talk to the giant last. Huh? Why is the talkative wizard so quiet today? Hmm. Well, my lord? Hmm. It turns out you can stay, still hear us after all. Still hear you? What happened? If you want details, go ask that big iron block on the other side. Huh? Mr. Wizard, my lord, please accept my apologies if I offended you. You don't have to apologize. Uh, it's so embarrassing. I'd better ask Mr. Knight what had happened. Hmm. Oh. Hello, Mr. Knight. Hello, my child. Actually, I just talked to Mr. Wizard and the Lord. 
Did I do anything wrong? Maybe you haven't noticed, but your condition has been changing. Ah, my condition? It seems that a fairy cannot successfully adapt to a man-made environment after all. Even if he collects the first morning Tao for you every day to preserve the natural aura here. Am I going to die? I'm not sure. But it's true that your abilities are decreasing. We may not be able to communicate soon. My child, we are created to be lifeless objects. Therefore, you don't need to feel sorry. It's more like we gained the power of life because of you. Then tomorrow, can I talk to you as usual? Of course you can, my child. And now the giant. Is Mr. Giant here? And Mr. Giant comes as you knock on the jar. Hmm. What's the matter? You're not looking very cheerful. Am I... Um, Mr. Giant also looks quite tired. It's nothing. You don't need to worry about me. By the way, it has been some time since you ate a meal in front of me. Do you remember when you had first arrived? You enjoyed the food so much. Have you grown tired of wheat? Is that so? Here's the wheat again. Then eat. Huh? Eat here? Well, though it looks very delicious, why do I feel it's so difficult to swallow? What's the matter? You are not eating. But Mr. Giant, why? Why does he begin to stare at me again? I guess he won't give up until I finish my meal. Ooh. The amount of wheat was doubled. I ate too much. Uh, my tummy doesn't feel too well. But why did Mr. Giant suddenly start to care about my diet? And my health? Never mind. I'd better sleep today. Forty... Forty-five? Forty-six? Oh no, there's more below! There's like, there's even more, um... Uh, crossings out there. So you can see four different rows. Four different rows, I mean. Hmm, okay, we're sick. Maybe the choice we made on that day was the wrong one. Like, maybe we should have found a way to escape rather than trying to find another way. Please never forget this. Your blank is limited. What's limited? We're back here again. Haven't been in this place for a while. It's the dream from before. They're slightly decolored. But somehow it feels different. Hi there. Oh, we go towards it. What else can we do around here? It's a big open space. That's for sure. 
we can still keep going. What's the purpose behind us then? Hmm. There's a few things here actually. And there too. Bizarre. Very bizarre and very concerning. Okay, let's talk to them then. Excuse me, where am... Okay, Kai. Huh? K kill. Kill him. Traitor. He's a traitor. The shame of us all. Please listen to me. How disgusting. How shameful. Saying. Saying that you trust humans. It's impossible. We can never coexist with humans. No way. Mm. You are a bit different from the rest of us. I have felt it for a long time now. Please, never show your face in front of me again, alright? You are such an eyesore. How dare you say that? Hmm. Apple? I... I believed you. Because we said that the three of us were best friends. Always. However, please, can you just let me out of this? Huh? I've had enough. It's none of my business, is it? Why should I be laughed at instead of you? It's all because of the giants. Because you went to see the giants. No, it's not. It's all because of the giants. Everything started to go wrong after that day. Mm. Well, why is everyone so angry? I suppose that kid went crazy. What should we do with fools? Maybe some harsh punishment with, will be enough. Hoping to live together with humans. I don't want to hear such nonsense again. Please trust me. Different silhouettes. I heard that there was a fairy community by the lake. It was polluted after being discovered by humans. And all the fairies died of strange diseases. Why do you still trust those devils? Not all the humans are like that. Some would actually want to care for fairies. Contribute towards their well-being. It's over. Everything is over. Our people broke the rules. Now desperation and destruction will be the gifts from the gods. No, it won't happen. Back here. Apple? Where have you been? Wheat has been looking for you. We promised to attend the festival together, didn't we? It's impossible. Huh? It's impossible to see wheat again. Impossible to see wheat again? Why? Because I was spirited away instead of you. Therefore, I'm dead already. 
Spirited away? Well, you never doubt it. Everybody knows I'm the coward. Apple, how dare Apple be disobeyed innate? Disob and leave a village on his own? Ah, sure, but if it's you, it's no big news for you to go missing for a few days. No wonder you think so little of our village rules, right? I... I... Are you enjoying your nightmare, little fairy? You... you are... Phew. We finally meet. I'm here to take you away. Or have you forgotten me already? Memory loss. That's why most of these people are silhouettes. Can you hear me? Of course, I'm not an illusion inside your brain. Where on earth is this place? It's your nightmare. The world in your subconsciousness. You are rejected, laughed at, and revoked by everyone. Because I chose humans? Yes, you've chosen a different path. Come here and take my hand. Let's put an end to this. What do you mean by end? Obviously, I mean... It's almost the ending. You should know this clearly. Our contract will expire very soon. If it works, then congratulations, I'll grant your original wish. If you fail, then please have my apologies, my little fairy. You probably don't want to know what happens next. Go there, my clever child. A phone call. Yes, I found it. The statue of the empty philosopher. I haven't been here for over a month, Professor. Your collection is such a mess. I have no clue at... I have no clue at a... blank. Hmm? A glass jar? Yes. It looks like a tiny bone's eye, but the things inside it are completely rotten. Did someone keep an insect or something in this jar? No way. The things in there have been stuck together. I see. I'll dispose of it later. Oh. The forgotten ending. So there's at least three endings to the game. Would you like to see a hint? It seems that you were abandoned. The giant seems to be very shy about expressing his feelings. Don't always think about escaping. Care for him a bit more. But I, I bit him. Hmm. Don't always think about escaping. Care for him a bit more. Okay. Let's try and see what would happen if we chose the other option of not going there. Don't move. Oh. Are you still hesitating? It seems that you haven't remembered me. It's fine, I'll be here and wait for you until you reach the conclusion. Oh. Right, so there's no other choice in that matter. Don't trust him. 
Oh. I didn't think you were such a stubborn little guy. Hmm. Yeah, we have to just go to that conclusion by doing that. Hmm. So it seems that that is the path forward. We need to think carefully about what the giant wants. But for the moment, folks, I think we're going to come close to this episode. But I'm not sure how many endings there are to this game. There are at least three because that was ending C. But we'll get to the others once we are able to reach them. Uh, I think we've covered the majority of the story of the game so far. Please let me know down in the comments below on what decisions are there that I should make for the future. And I don't think I want to abandon the themes of the giant. It's just that at the very beginning I chose a bit rather than just coming out. But thank you so much for watching, guys, and see you all in the next time of Fairy in a Jar. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.